everyone, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Thought I would do a market update today. I'm sure a lot of people got chopped up in this market here today. Traders, uh, day traders anyways. I called the market long this morning. It's following through and we're going to make new highs today. And I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of day traders thought that we were toppy and that we were running into resistance and that we can't possibly go any higher because we've already gone up for the last seven, eight days. But, you know, I read the gap. I mean, I think reading gaps is important because it tells you what's happening in the price of something, whether the market or, or your stock. And it's because I know how to read gaps and I can read the market very accurately. Now, I don't get the market right all the time, but I do get it right a lot and more than anyone that I know because I'm really very good at reading gaps. So even if you don't want to train gaps, if you learn how to read gaps, it will tell you what something is going to do for the directional bias of the day in the market. And if you need the market for your trades, then you've got to know how to get the market right. I, I'm just so sure that so many people are down money today that are day traders because this was not easy to read. Okay. And we haven't gotten over the high yet, but we're going to. So, and I, I think we even do today. So, a couple things uh, alerted me to what was going to happen here today. First of all, the overall strength of the market, which is absolutely spectacular, by the way. We've been running up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. Nine counting today, and I do think we break over the high today. So, and I think we get over convincingly, meaning not just by a penny or two, but actually trade over it by 15, 20 cents or more. The high there is around 185. And although it looks like we're getting toppy as far as getting into an air resistance, it doesn't matter. Why? Because we're strong. And the market can keep going. Who's to say that this has to hold? No one. And it's not going to, by the way. Whether we get over the high today or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. We're still not going to hold in there. I mean, this is we're going to get over it. And I actually think do today, because it's too late now for the market to not go over the area today. And it's holding at a perfect, perfect time, getting right up into the 12 o'clock major reversal time. So the market's either going to get up over 185 here in the next 20 minutes or so, or base out all afternoon and break out into the late afternoon today and go higher into the late afternoon today over the high and then make the move into the into the close. That's the other possibility for this here. So really this this down move that pull in that happened is done. We're gonna make new highs in a spy. We've already done it in the queues. And the bulls are in control of the market, which is evident to everyone here. And I know people say, well, you can't keep going forever. Yes, you can. You can until you don't anymore. But you don't just decide to play short something because you think the market isn't going to keep going because you'd be shorting something that's in an uptrend. And you can't short the market if it's in an uptrend. The market's in an uptrend. It's been in an uptrend. Even the fall that happened back in January didn't discount this uptrend. I mean, I thought we'd even pull in more and still be an uptrend. We didn't. We held the very, very tiniest level that we could have possibly held here and are getting ready to make new highs like any second. So, But really what I saw this morning with the gap is how we came in and sat on this very, again, smidgen of an area. There was some negative news this morning in the market. Again, another confirmation of the strength in the market. It just shrugs off every bit of negative news. It just shrugs it off and the buying comes in. Any little tiny move down, the buying comes in. Any negative news, the market shrugs it off and just lifts itself up. The high here of this bar is 183.40 and the low of the market today is 183.65. It's, it's not even there in that one. Oh, here it is, the close of this bar here. That's where it's sat on top. Well, let me look here. Yeah, it's basically this area. It's right this top of this guy and this top of this guy and the close here of this bar. See where we sat? Actually, here. It's a low of that. It's sat right on it. And I know this is so minuscule to see, but it's real. I mean, it's real and I saw it. It's real. It's real or it wouldn't be holding. That's the low of the day in the market today. And we're not going to go anywhere down anything major. At least not today for the near foreseeable future. So a lot of power and strength in the market. It's lifting stocks that are strong. It's lifting strong stocks higher. Netflix, GMCR, all the biggies, all the good ones. Okay? And it's even giving a rally into some things that are weak that are going to drift off more and fall back down later, like Apple and some other things. But for now, really the market is lifting things higher that are strong to just outstanding numbers, by the way. ATHN is another one. 
And the things that are weak, that are really, really weak, are getting dumped, okay? Because people don't want to hold on to long positions in stocks that are not performing when the market is and proving that it's strong. This is what I find so fascinating, even though it's just, I understand why people are thinking this market's going to, you know, this is coming up into resistance. I understand why people want to want to go short up in here, but it's it's just the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's so fascinating, though, how people believe this works. It's fascinating. I just never, ever, 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 ever trade against the trend. And I think that that's a good rule of thumb. However, that being said, a lot of people don't know how to read trends. So until you can grasp that, you, you can't get with the trend to play it consistently. But, you know, for large momentum moves, the move for the momentum side happened here to the upside here in the market, which you can see in the power and then follow through its hat. It hasn't had any let up. I mean, even this pull-in move actually had some nice power trending down days in here. Here, this one here, this one here, there was a three. There was three in the mix when the market came into the support. But there were some backup days in here where the market didn't drift lower while it was trying to rest before it came down and had this big day, which held it then. But there wasn't anything like that here. Do you see the difference? There was nothing like that here. There was one small smidgen of a day back in here last week, and that was it. And even this was a gap up. Now, it didn't really go anywhere in the day, but even the market... Gapped up here on this day, tried to go higher initially, couldn't, but still didn't come in. This is a rest day in the market. So do you see how, do you see the difference between this and this? This is a big difference here. And this is flying through with the trend, which is the uptrend anyways, which you can see. I mean, look, we're just higher. So I know that some more people are going to try to short this top when it comes up here, this 185 number thereabouts this afternoon. But don't short this market today. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to short this market. It is strong. You cannot be against the people that are in charge. It's crazy, actually. It's beyond crazy. It's like, it's like silly. That's how crazy it is. It's like actually silliness to be against the people that are in charge of the market. You don't want to be against the people that are setting the trend. And it's the bulls here for the spy and the cues until otherwise noted. And probably all this year until it does something that shows me that we're actually changing the trend, which I don't see it's happening. The market keeps shrugging off every negative news and going higher. Everything, anything that comes out. And, and every dip down gets bought. The tiny areas are holding, the minuscule ones. And actually, if you bought the market on the five minute chart today, you're in this trading, you're still in it. And it has a nice target, actually, if you want to be in this. If you had bought the market here today, it was a 20, 15 cent stop, actually. 15 cent stop here for the SPY, targets a dollar. You're still in it. You're still in the trade. You actually could have lowered the stop here. So the five minute play today was a play. Why? Because this wouldn't be a gap you go after aggressively, even though this is a gap in the market today. You would not aggressively go after it. You would have had to wait for the five minute. But I'm sure people just got, are getting creamed in this market today because it's trading tight. Not everybody's seeing this the way that I'm seeing it, that we're higher, even though we're holding so strong because we broke the low of the day in the first 15 minutes of the day, and I'm aware of that. We broke the low of the day in the first 15 minutes of the day, and people see us up at the resistance, and people see us extended, but that's not how I read what was going to happen. We actually broke the low of the day here at 55. Well, it did it twice here, and then we did it right at 10 o'clock. So I'm sure people, I'm sure traders are not trading well today. They didn't do the gaps that I played today or see the market the way I did. I'm sure people are really getting chopped to bits and pieces. And the fact that people are trying to short this when more buying keeps coming in, it just blows through the short stops. And that's what makes them the big moves. And that's why I think it's going to actually get over the number pretty pretty aggressively once we do, at least convincingly, not just a dink over the high. I think it's going to be today. So saw it this morning, holding true. Uh, time of the day is still very, 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 very early. Target for the market today, 185.20, 185.25, non-piggish. Over the high, though, for sure. Possibly a 12 o'clock major reversal time, or if not, a late rally into the close. And if that's the case, then we'll base that here often all afternoon or come in one more time in the 5 or the 15 minute setup before we do it. But this is, I mean, look, we're setting up like we're just going to do it right now. Beautiful call I made here in the market today. And I just know a lot of people look to shorting this that were day traders. But you must learn to read the overall trend. I don't care if you're day trading, swing trading, core trading. You've got to be with the trend of what you're playing. And and this idea of shorting tops is does not work. I've said it before and I've said it again. Long, 
long the market today. You can even buy the market here today, but you got to have the stop under a certain area, and the stop's going to be big because it's late. But this was the play in here. It's still intact. And if you did this here, you could have even lowered the stop up here. But really nice. And if the market pulls in again here in the 5 or the 15 minute, the market can be bought again because it might come in around lunch if it doesn't break over the high at lunch. But do not short this market today. We will not close red. We're going to close green. It's either going to be small, tiny green or a large body green. If it goes over the high, it's going to be a large body green. If we do not make it over the high, if we just base out here all day and don't get over the high today, we will still be a small bodied. It's going to be green though. It's not going to be red. Strong. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If anyone would like more information on how to read gaps or trade gaps, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. I'm doing a golden gap class where I teach how to rate gaps. How to read gaps? How, to, how do I do this? How do I see that the market was going to be long today and hold in the middle of the sky after seven days up because I know how to read gaps? So I teach a class on this. The class is this weekend, February 22nd and 23rd. If you would like to learn how to read gaps in stocks, in charts, it's the pattern of the gap. Then email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information or to sign up for the class this weekend. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day.